Hello, how's it going, people? YouTube, and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to eSports PG Tour. So, I don't know whether I may, I may play my career mode just after this, but this video might take. I'm not going to say it's going to take too long to do, but I, I, I've been wait, the last few weeks. I've been trying to get like the bag specs. Sort of sorted out. I think I was running a a gold driver spec, which I wasn't happy about. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to delve into the, the 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 kind of, and this is why I, I don't know if I'm going. To, I might play my my career mode after this, or maybe the next day. I haven't quite worked it out yet, but I'm trying to get the the bag sorted out now. I'll rewind back to season one now. If you remember. In fact, let's just go into career mode at the moment. Let's go to season one. And if you look here, so I think, oh, no, I need to remember what. Um, I'm trying to think when it was. I think this, this tournament here. Uh. Right, we won the Carolina Open. I think at uh, Chambers Bay, the eSports Championship, is the first tournament that I, I, I rolled back the bag stats. Now, if, if you take the game, you've got basically, um, you've got your golfer attributes, and then you've got what, bag or club cu cu customization uh, attributes. Now, the bag... Uh, <laughs> The bag customization actually changes a lot of your top end spec. Um, I think I think the skill points I think gives you like a little bit more power and stuff like that and control. But a lot of it is made up with your bag attributes. It's, it's quite a large part of the the skill the, the kind of skill base. Now prior to the Jam Chambers Bay, so from this tournament back. We actually played with a bag that I think was, if I'm led to believe, <laughs> I've got hiccups. Every time I start recording, I always get, <laughs> I always get hiccups or something. Oh dear! But I think prior to that, the bag was about ninety something, maybe even ninety seven, because I had quite a good spec. So, for a rookie year, I felt that was a little bit too much. And as you can see there, with one, two, three, four top tens. And then I think we actually had, I think we won Carolina Open as a legit normal bag spec. Or well, I, well I'm going to stay as my career rookie year bag spec, which was about 84. So we went from like a bag that was like 90, 95, maybe 96, 97, I'm led to believe. Could be wrong. Uh, I could check. I could check the videos and I could probably see what the bag spec was. But we basically, we, I thought potentially it was too much. And I thought for, for a rookie year, we shouldn't be playing. We should actually be struggling off the tee, maybe a little bit inaccurate off the tee. You know, iron shots, long irons, wedges, whatever. We should, we should be playing a little bit more, you know, kind of realistic to a rookie year. We actually played... When we did make the change, we actually won that tournament. I, I need to verify that whether we won that tournament with you on a an eighty four, because the bag spec the bag spec went from about a mid nineties to eighty four, and that was like the kind of that was using. I'm trying to think. Did I even use any? Um, did I even use any bag spec? In that. I don't. I don't think we did. I think we had zero. It's just basic club set, nothing on the clubs at all. Um, and then from then on, you can see we kind of struggled actually from like that win. We went to the Masters. We did make the cut. We finished plus five. But from then on, we missed the cut at the PGA. And then you can see there, we actually got a top ten finish at the Alberta Open. And then we kind of had quite a good run in. We made a lot of cuts, a lot of top tens. We actually won the Open Championship. 
And then we actually ran into the, the end of the season, finishing, I think, third in the FedEx Cup. So, all in all, a pretty good rookie season. But I wanted to roll it back, um, back to like a like an 84 bag spec. Now, fast forward to season two, and this video is kind of, I'll probably actually just make this a standalone video because I'm probably going to waffle on a lot of, I wouldn't say crap, but I'm going to like talk a lot. So we'll get to the golfer, and actually before we even go into any of that, I've actually got three points to, to put on my 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 guy's uh, skill set. So as I say there, if you look at um, if you look at the skill set there, you've got the shaded part, which is the equipment. Now, technically, what I probably should have done is rolled back these stats as well the, the the problem the problem there is you've, you've only got one character you can't have multiple characters but this is my player this is this is my guy um if i roll back the stats that are the skills i would be losing out when playing online against people so it, it's kind of like a base skill set now you could actually make your player probably down at the wait sixties, sixties seventies, which would actually probably be even better for um, career mode where you it may be limited just how much you could put into your skill set, but you could maybe have like a skill set that was separate to, to online play. So if I'm playing some guy online, I'm not going to be playing with a guy that's like my career mode guy, and it's going to be like. You know, I'm gonna have a major disadvantage playing somebody online. It'd be good to have like an online skill set, especially with this like skills, and actually have like a, a career mode guy that that you steadily build up over the over the seasons. So basically, this is my skill set. You can see there that the the the, the gold color is your skills that's on this page. The slightly darker kind of. I, I, let's just call it a slightly darker gold. That is the bag. So you can see there that it doesn't it doesn't make a huge difference, but it does make a little bit of a difference to your skill set. So you, I think the base skill set I think is eighty four. Um, you could make that lower, but as I say, you'd have to you'd have to chip into your skill set here, and that would hinder your online play and just playing playing with friends. You'd have to make some kind of, you know, you would be hindered. In that department so that's the skill set so I've, I've got three points to use i don't know how to put it back into putting because i think some of these other ones i can maybe do accuracy or something i'll i'll, I'll probably do that before I, I play my career mode in earnest but we got the equipment oh wrong button equipment so this is where and i've probably said this in a previous i think i had a video explaining all my bag my, my actual bag set so a lot of people may use like, oh, I've got my Titleist bag, I've got a Mizuno bag, I've got a Ping bag, I've got, you know, um, Callaway, whatever, whatever, whatever. Um, I actually put my bags as a skill set. Because you might get into a, a, a group and you might have like a, a, a 98 bag or a 99 bag if you maybe get your, your uh, XP up. And a lot of people don't want to play against you if you've got too high a number. I played against people that are 99, and it doesn't really make a difference. It depends, depends, you know, how you play as a player. But my bags are different. So basically, I've got all my bags here. If I switch here, this is this is basically a season one bag. This is an 84 rated golfer bag. And I'm just going to double check, actually. Go to the driver. Let's tab along to the, the club spec. And as you can see there, I've just got the, the default, the grey um, default balance spec driver. Um, and that's it. I didn't have anything else in this bag that was, it was all default grey spec. I don't know if the grey is a default or whether the greens are slight upgrade, but basically that was it. That was an 84 bag. And that was my tailor-made clubs. So this is going to be season, season two bag, and this is a jump up. So at the moment, in fact, I'll just quickly go through the other, I'll come back to this bag. So for instance, bag three here, which is the, the Callaway bag. 
I think that specs out at, I believe it's 90, 91, I think. Um, this bag here, I, I, I actually play this bag quite a lot online. This is my kind of, this is my kind of main bag that I play on online. Uh, this is a 94 rated bag. Um, and then this one here is my master's bag. This is like, it's got the master's clubs, the ball, you know, the whole shebang. Um, and this is like a 97, I believe. Now, this bag will go up higher once I get my XP boost. I think I'm currently, if I look at my skill set, um, at 57. So I've still got another couple of XP levels to go up. Um, and once I do that, I will probably, that that bag will go to like a 99. But at the moment, that's my top range bag. So that, that's potential season five bag. That may change when I get to season five. It may not be the Masters Clubs. It might not be, um, you know, it's not going to be, uh, it might change, put it that way. So these bags may change for the upcoming seasons. Um, you know, we may change that, swap it around. So this is this is going to be season two bag. Now, I have basically. Right, so if we go into the clubs here, so season two, um, like the first season, it was grey spec, which I think is the default. Um, I don't think you can get grey spec, uh, or, or grey sp coloured specs. So I think that is just the default setting. So. For this year, we're able to get green um, specs. Now we can only utilize the green. We can't go. We can't get blue. That'll be season three. Season four, I believe, is going to be the purple, and then season five is going to be gold specs. So basically, we're going to get a, a, a progression level. So every season, we get a little bit stronger and a little bit better. So this year, we have only access to green. Now, at the moment, there's not a lot in the shop. I think there's like maybe six specs there at the moment. I'd like to get quite a balanced driver, but I can't get that at the moment. So I've initially, I've put this one in, which is a uncommon driver, superior impact spec driver. Now, it gives me a little boost on power and accuracy, control and recovery. For a driver, you probably really don't need recovery, but I think control is draw and fade, which I'm not really too fussed about. Um, but at the moment, at this time of speaking, that's probably the best spec that I can put on my driver at the moment and on my Season 2 bag. And the driver we've got here is the Mizuno STZ driver. Now... I've initially picked Mizuno as my club of choice. I'm thinking of putting a kind of con a possible contract change. Not even like mid season, it probably will early. I think before the first major. Maybe even before the, the, the players championship we will have an option of maybe like choosing a different set of clubs. Um so this is where I tend to, or I try and get the storyline so that I stick to the story. So I'm not just like putting in a different set of drivers, or a different brand. I like to keep faithful to a, a, a possible contract. Um, and one of the stipulations I had uh, was coming off of last season, we actually did really pretty well for a, for the the rookie season. And when you think about it, we probably could get any brand that we want, Titleist, Ping, Cobra, whoever, because we actually really played well and we won a major that season. We won the Open Championship. So you'd think there'd be a lot of people would be interested in signing us up. But I'm kind of looking at it and I just, there's not many clubs like, Mizuno don't have wedges. So I think I've got uh, Cleveland wedges. But the driver we've got is this. I think it's the only one that, that Mizuno do. So that's the driver. Three wood is the STZ. It's a fairway wood. Again, let's look at the spec. We have got this one here, which is a little bit more accuracy based than like power, control, and recovery. This one here, 
gives us recovery, but I think we need it in accuracy. Now, these specs can change over the, the course of the season. If I get better, like, balanced um, specs, I'm going to put them in. Now, you could technically, I suppose, for a certain tournament, maybe get one that's more power-based, one that's more accuracy-based or whatever. So that can change, but I can't, I can't, I, I can only choose a green colour. I can't go with any other colour, like blue, orange, well, blue, gold, purple. I can't do it. So at that moment, we've got the accuracy. Irons are going to be, I think, the GPX 9232 iron. And again, I think I've got, I, I've, I quite like this one. The four squares there is a balanced spec, which is quite good. It gives you power, accuracy, control, and recovery. But again, this could possibly change if I do upgrade some green spec items. So that may change. It might even change with the the the, the uh, competition that I'm playing. But really, I'll probably not really maybe mess with it too much. Wedges, now, they don't have Mizuno wedges in this game, which is a little bit of a disappointment. So I've got the Cleveland, the RTX Zipcore wedge in black satin. I do believe we've got that one. Uh, I think that's a chrome. Maybe. Uh, what else have we got here? Cobra. So I'm just going to stick with the Cleveland. Um, as I, I say again, these may change. And the spec we've got fitted on this one is Control, which is actually not a bad spec to have for wedges. Uh, again, this could possibly change. They're all the same. Again, we're just, I, I quite like Titleist. Um, there is other balls that I've got, but um, yeah, I'm just going to stick with Titleist, if I'm honest. I like quite a clean ball. I don't like all these ones with shapes on it. It can put me off a little bit. And putter, now, I don't know about the putter. This is a Mizuno based putter. We do have another one here, which is a kind of mallet head style. Um, the craft type and craft type four. This one's actually quite nice. Now these don't have any specs fitted to them, but I'm I'm going to make a stipulation with putters, and what I'm going to say is, I would I think putters is going to be one area that I don't need to go for a certain brand, um, and we can actually choose one. That I would say is one that I like. And do you know what? I think I'm actually going to pick my Scotty Cameron, my Jordan Spieth. Jordan Spieth, Scotty Cameron 009. I'm going to stick with this one. I just like how it looks. You know, I just like, I just like it. So I'm going to stick with that one. Um, so that's basically the bag. So I was thinking about changing and maybe going with a different company. And I thought, no. Nah, I quite like Mizuno clubs. I've actually got Mizuno, a set of uh, Mizuno TP18s. I've not played golf for years. I mean, I, I bought these clubs in St Andrews when I was on holiday. Way back when I was probably... <clears throat> man, I, I think I was probably in my early 20s when, when I bought those clubs. So, we're going to stick with this. Uh, outfits. I don't really have a... Do you know what? I don't have a lot of outfits. I keep pressing the wrong button. I don't really have a lot of outfits, um, so I'm just going to stick with Adidas at the moment. I'd like to change up, but it's not really that much. Identity, right, right off the bat. So, <laughs> if you look at my videos, season one, if I've got a beard, if you watch a video and I have got a, a full beard, that is... My like my ninety mid ninety spec to a bag. If I'm clean shaven, that's when we started the the kind of rollback to the the rookie season and a, an eighty four bag. So basically, we washed the beard, and it, it's the indication that as rookie year we're kind of young, we're a young buck, we're uh, clean shaven, 
So as you can see here, season two, we've got a little bit of growth, which is going to signify um, a different season. So that's one way you can tell <laughs> what video uh, you're watching, whether it's season one or season two. Unless I've got a full beard, that's pre-rollback time. Uh, so I've got a little bit of a little bit of a five o'clock shadow. Next year I'm going to have like an add-on. Like I don't even know if like the beards are. Uh, where is the beards? It's there. Facial hair. So I think we can actually go like chop. So we'll probably go next year. We'll probably go this. So that'll be season three. So that's season. That's rookie season. Season season two. Season three. Season four. Maybe season five. So you can actually see there's a subtle beard change between them. So that's how I'm going to signify the, the change in the seasons. And that's roughly about it. What what's the time for the video? Twenty that's twenty one minutes already. So I'm probably gonna I may play today. I may play. I, I really haven't made my mind up. I'm sort of thinking about it. Uh, but that's the season that's the bag overview. So if I jump into an online I'm not gonna jump into an online, but I'm gonna jump into the bag. There it is there, eighty seven. So that may change. It could possibly go to 88 when I put the skill points on, but it probably will stay the same at 87. And I believe um, I don't I don't know about the quick rounds. Uh, let's see. I think I've actually changed it to yeah. We still got quick there. Um, I don't know. I may actually do. I'm thinking about maybe doing the first event, doing it as a a a, a full, like this one here. Maybe doing that as a as a full event, because what we got, twenty pounds. I actually don't mind playing full rounds. I feel the quick rounds are. It's very hard to maybe to get a good result because you've only really got like four to five or six holes to really to make an impression. Um, but I think in this one, I'm going to play the, the very first one. In fact, I'll just change that. Let's go back. Clear settings. Let's go full rounds. I mean, we could do... Oh, is it one or four? Hmm, interesting. I think you maybe do it two rounds, but strange. We'll do four anyway. I'm not really that bothered. Um, let's save that. Apply changes. So yeah, we're going to do we're going to do the full round. So that is coming up. If it's not t if it's not today, it'll probably be maybe tomorrow at some point, or definitely Tuesday. I'll, I'll, I need to start moving season two on. But anyway, folks, that is going to do it. That is probably a very long-winded explanation of season two, and a bit of a bit of a, a, a like the story of how se the rookie season happened and how we, we kind of rolled back the the bag stats. So anyway, folks, hopefully you enjoyed that. Hopefully it made a lot of sense. If it doesn't, I do apologise, but it made sense in my head. But um, anyway, I'll see you soon. Bye.